it really doesn't ever settle in until like I, my wife will be talking to her girlfriends or her friends and she's like, they'll talk about what I used to look like. And then I'll look at pictures of myself, how I used to look, you know, before my nose and before my face and some of the, just the, just the scars and the beating in my ears and just the deformity. And that's when I think you started actually measuring out the cost. What did I get out of what I gave? Throughout my years, I can remember a few injuries. I had to get uh, 50 stitches in my eyebrow, 25 on the inside and 25 on the out. It, it got done in the back room in the arena by the doctors there. They supposed to put the biodegradable stitches on the inside and the permanent ones on the out that you had to come back and get, get them taken out and they did it backwards. With well, the injuries, we all deal with them. That's why when we do the healthcare here, it's such a huge deal to me because it's like, wow, I got guys who like, you know, maybe they have an injury that's not a fight, pull them from the fight injury because they can go to the doctor, have it looked at. They're not fearful of saying something because they know that, oh, well, if you mark this down, you got it in training, maybe we're not going to fix it, you know, uh, we're not going to take care of it. But as far as complete healthcare and taking care of, nobody wanted to do that. Nobody has done it until Harrison came along. So you say you won't change. Healthcare? We've done it. You say you want things to be better for the fighters. A piece of the company, our guys get stock. So you say you're an MMA fan. You say you're an MMA fan. It's time to prove it. So prove it. You want this change. If you support this change, all you got to do is watch. There's power in numbers. The more of you that watch, the more of you that are there, and lets you do something about this.